and my sisters welcome today back to part three from jesus the life changer so i hope you will bless today with this message today uh we're gonna pray today first and then we start with the message so welcome you i welcome you all my brothers and my sisters uh we're gonna bow our heads now and pray Father God, we thank you for today, Father God. Lead the day today, Father God, with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take full control, Father God, of your message, Father God. Touch people's life, Father God. Jesus Christ, you are the life changer. I know you will change people's lives. I know you will change thousands of people's lives, millions of people's lives, Father God. Thank you, Father God, that your heart, the heart of the people will be touched today with your word, Father God. Let the lives of people, your people be take, changed today, Father God. Holy Spirit, take full, today, full control today in Jesus' name. Jesus name amen welcome everybody welcome today is uh, the topic uh, topic back again about Jesus the life changer you never can stop and talk about Jesus because this uh, mighty man is changing people's life he has changed my life he's gonna change your life my brother and my sister uh, be, be prepared because God will do mighty things in your life and know that God is the one that changed people's lives he used his uh, only son to die for you on the cross so that you may be have a good life, so that you may have a healthy life, so that you may be happy in life. That's why Jesus came to die on the cross for your sins. First for your sins to forgive you and to that you may have life in abundance, that you may have a good life, that you may have a, a happy life, a peaceful life, a joyful life. When you accept Jesus as your personal refuge, refu as Savior and Redeemer. So... All the people that are listening today, 
it's the time that you have Jesus in your life, accept Jesus in your life and confess your sins to Father God that you have sinned so that Jesus can take over in your life so that your life may, may, may must be changed. So we're going to start now with uh, when Jesus begins to change your life, blessings will come, come your way. Blessings from God will come your way when Jesus come in your life. Blessings begin will begin to flow. Favor become, begin to flow. Things work are going to happen in your life that never have been happened. So that you will know that this is something else. This is something supernaturally. This is something from God. This is something from God Almighty. God from above. This is not something from in the world from people. No, this is something from God. This is something manifesting from God that your life will be changed. When Jesus comes in your life, then the blessings begin to flow. Doors will be open when you pray. Uh, uh, prayers will be answered. And that is something that only God can do. Prayer answering is something from God. When Jesus will uh, come in your life and change your life, prayers will be answered. Signs and wonders will come in your life. Because Jesus is the mighty one. He is the one that do signs and wonders. When you read in the Bible, uh, in the time that Jesus was on the earth, when Jesus do things for the people in, uh, that were in need, the poor people, the broke people, the, the needy people, um, when Jesus came, the sick people, he did, did mighty signs and wonders for the people. Something that nobody can do but only Jesus. That's why we honor the Almighty One, the Almighty God, the Almighty Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the life changer. It's the time that you must know that signs and wonders only come from God. It's not coming from somebody else, some, some other source. It's only come from God. God is the one that... Uh, uh, that uh, change people's lives and do the signs and wonders. When Jesus come in your life and begin to change your life, good things will happen for you. Good things will follow you. Blessings will follow you. And if you are sick, healing will follow you. That means if you pray and you ask Jesus forgiveness for your sin, also healing be, will become. If you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have uh, uh, corona or whatever sickness you have, uh, you have a tumor or whatever sickness you have, bad need sickness. Because Jesus, if you read the Bible from Matthew to uh, uh, Luke to Mark and uh, John, you will uh, know that Jesus was the one that healed every sickness. From those that were believing in Jesus, they, uh, they, those people uh, get from every sickness, they get healing from Jesus. Jesus is the life changer. When you are sick and you're feeling bad, the doctor cannot heal you anymore. The doctor say you are going to die from cancer or you're going to die from corona or whatever sickness it is. Because sickness is not from God. Health is from God. Sickness is from the devil. Like now in the world is now corona. Corona now is from the devil. The devil give people a present now. Give people a gift now, a present now. He give people now corona. Corona is now shaking the world now. But the people that are trusting in God, depending on God, believing in Jesus, can know that Jesus is the one that protects them. That give them, that the corona is not for, for them. They say, yeah, corona, everybody get corona. Corona can get everybody know the children of God that know that God uh, lives and protects them know that corona that if corona is going everywhere corona is not coming in your way corona cannot come your way you cannot get corona because if you have the DNA the blood of Jesus you have the protection of God uh, you have uh, you're a child of God you if you pray you ask God protection for your life that every sickness that that is ruling in this world where the devil is coming with sickness because the devil is shaking now the world with sickness every day on the news it is corona 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 nothing but corona but you know it is jesus 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 the healer the healer and the protector so it is better you take jesus in your life today and accept the signs and wonders that he do because if you have the sickness corona you, he can, you can get healing from it they say yeah they say those good educated people say yeah uh, there is no uh, um, medicine now for corona we are looking for it we are looking for it the only one that can uh, heal corona that can destroy corona if you have it is Jesus Christ because he's the healer for, of every sickness Jesus when you read your Bible Jesus healed every sickness so he can beat corona he beat cancer, he beat AIDS, he beat every kind of sickness. So I don't know what, if you have a sickness, I don't care what it is, Jesus is the master healer. Jesus is the healer. What he did, did at that time in the Bible, he do it now. People get healed and restored from AIDS, cancer, all kind of sickness. So Corona is nothing for Jesus. Jesus is the almighty one. Jesus rule and reign. So if you have something, 
uh, something or you are afraid to get corona it's better to accept jesus in your life as your personal uh, uh redeemer and savior and ask god to protect you and jesus will uh if, uh if you are afraid of corona you know that if you are in jesus planted in jesus have jesus accepted jesus in your life Corona will not come your way because Jesus will beat Corona. Jesus has beat every sickness. Jesus has healed every sickness. So Jesus is the life changer. Jesus is the almighty one. Jesus is the man, man that rule and reign, that have power for, uh, to rule and reign over everything, every situation. Now the name of Corona is now so almighty, so in this world, uh, the devil is so powerful now with Corona, Corona. When you go on CNN, the whole day Corona, Corona, everywhere Corona, Corona, everywhere, it's just like this the corona is God let corona not be your God today let Jesus Christ be the one that is on top in your in your life today let God be the one that is in, uh, on top in your life today so if you are sick or you are afraid of to get the sickness go to God and ask God protection because if you and if you uh, are, are, are having corona or your family member let your family member pray to God or go to a church or whatever to go or accept Jesus in their lives so that Jesus can change their life and, and destroy this sickness, this epidemic of Corona because Jesus beat every sickness. The Corona is nothing for Jesus. Everybody is afraid of Corona. No, I'm not afraid of Corona. I'm not afraid of the devil because the devil is defeated. The devil rule and reign, reign in this world like he is the big boss, but I know one of big boss that is the ruler and reigner, that is Father God, that is the Lord God Almighty, that the one that is in power, that is Jesus Christ, Christ. that is the one that rule and reign, that is the one that changed lives, that is the one that beat every sickness. So today we're going to talk more about Jesus, the life changer, so that you know that Jesus can beat Corona and every sickness. And uh, if Jesus uh, come in your life and begin to restore your life, uh, your life will be restored. You will get happiness. You will get joy. You will get favor from God. You will get uh, answered prayer. Even your enemies have to move out of your life. Because um, uh, if people are troubling your life, God can remove them out of your life. Because God has a good life for you. And that is a life not to po be poisoned. If God has a good life for you, he will uh, uh, make the way for you. Make a way uh uh, clean your pet and let uh, lead you in the right way in the pet of the uh, right uh, with the right people and uh, he can uh, kick your enemies out of the way so that you can have a good life and a happy life so when jesus begin to change your life success begin to come when you need a job when you need promotion when you need uh, uh you need uh, need things you if you need even material stuff it is in god because god is the one also that bless god is not the one that gives people poverty god is not the one that make people poor and broke no god is the one everything in this world belongs to god so if you are a child of god jesus is the one that bless because jesus is rich he became poor so that we will be get rich when jesus come in your life and begin to change your life if you have uh, problems with financial problems or you have a lot of bills to pay it is something that you can bring on the throne of god you can bring it to the throne of god so that god can uh, so that god can uh um, can uh, deal with your uh, with your uh, bills to pay so that god can do signs and wonders i was also i give a small testimony now i was also years years ago i had bills i had bills to pay i had some thousand euros uh on uh, from bills to pay i couldn't pay it because it was so much uh um, uh, so much and I uh, lost my job and had some bills to pay the only thing I know that that the only thing that I know was to turn to God and pray to God say God can you take over my bills and help me to pay my bills and God uh, did it uh, through the years God pay my bills and uh, even the rest that I had to pay even the 10,000 after from my study even that uh, they, they, uh, they, 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 they give uh, they pull it away and uh, say you are free now from the bills so god can do financial uh, financially signs and wonders also for your life if you have a lot of bills to pay problems with financially god can bless you and help you also with your financial life to do wonders signs and wonders financially signs and wonders maybe you need this financial signs and wonder you can go to god about uh, with this problem in prayer and believe in god so that if you have uh the bills to pay you work with the people that you are uh um, at the office 
office uh, to go there and also believe when you go uh, for, before you go at home you pray let God take control over every financial case of your life and you will know that Jesus will change your life financially also so that all the bills will go away believe in God because God can do a lot of things that people cannot do and God will uh, you can use people to help you also so that God work through those people so to help you so believe in God and you will see signs and wonders will happen don't believe everything that people say let God has the have the last word to say in your life let not the mouth of people everywhere surround you have the last word in your life and come bring poison in your life and bring negative words in your life so that you believe that kind of word no believe God believe the Bible believe the word of God so that you can know that uh, Jesus is the life changer and can help you financially we're gonna go uh, first to um, one scripture we're gonna go today it is uh, Matthew uh, Matthew uh, 7 for, uh, Matthew 7 verse 7 till 8 we're gonna go to this scripture it's about prayer uh, what uh, Jesus say about prayer we're gonna go to it Matthew 7 chapter 7 uh, verse 7 till 8 there it say ask and it shall be given to you seek and you shall find knock and it will shall be, and, and it shall be open unto you so when you go to god you knock on the door from god and ask god god i'm here can you help me god will open the door because you are his precious child and he will help you and ask you ask god and he shall give to you what you need because when you go with your need to god god will never throw you away or uh, or turn your back uh, turn his back to you god will help you because god is a good father when you go to people and knock on their door they will not get uh, sometimes don't open for you or don't help you but god never will do that if you are his precious child my brother and my sister you always can go to god when you are in prayer this scripture is for the people that go in prayer and believe in god ask and it shall be given to you um, seek and you shall find you seek god and you shall find him knock on the door of god and he shall open for you for, ev for everyone that asked, received. Everyone. So if you ask God, you will receive something from God. And when you receive something from God, you will see, receive good things from God. God will, ne God will never give you something bad. You know, when you ask something on God, He is faithful to give you it. So always depend on God and ask God in prayer. And he that seeketh, findeth. And, and to him that knocketh, it shall be open so when you knock on the door god will open the door so always go to god and place god as number one in your life not uh uh your friends put not uh, your friends first let god be your first friend let god be your heavenly father your father let god do it because what people cannot do only god can do for your life so it's time to uh, turn back to god Turn back to God and let God be honored in your life so that God will do things that nobody can do. And then you can honor God as your father. You can honor God and then you cannot even be afraid to talk to your friends or people outside. When God bless you and help you, you can say, yeah, I, I believe in God. This God do so mighty things for me. This God do so much good to, they to me. I love this God. So maybe they also, when they have problems, they can go to God because they see, oh, you, you are getting help from somebody above somebody that's very mighty because god is the one that never deport the de, de, uh, never um god is the one that never disappoint you god will never disappoint you he will always help help you and always seek for the best for you he will seek for the best for you what is the best for you that's why when you go to god you will get the best of the best especially when you have a relationship with god when you have a relationship with god in prayer in a silent time you close your house and be there with god um, and call upon god his name and listen to his voice the spirit of god the holy spirit Spirit. you have relationship with uh, with God he will answer you and he will help you and lead you so um, this is the scripture for the prayer we're going to another scripture in the Bible that is Ephesians 3 verse 20 there we go Ephesians 3 verse 20 that is another scripture for prayer that where God uh, speak to you as his uh, as his child let me look uh, Ephesians 3 Verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly 
abundantly above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in, in us. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that work worketh in us. So the power that work in us, that is the spirit of God. When you have uh, accept Jesus in your life, you accept also the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Spirit through you uh, have uh, received God. You uh, go to a church. You go to get baptized also, and also receive the Holy Spirit. You ask the Holy Spirit in prayer also to uh, to come in your life. You will get the Holy Spirit. So that this Holy Spirit is a powerful spirit. It's the spirit of God that will uh, give you power and string through the day through in life that you can uh, have a relationship with the holy spirit talk to the holy spirit and the holy spirit will lead you and talk back to you that is the spirit of god don't listen to every voice but try to do your best to listen to the voice of the almighty one to listen to the voice of god and this is the voice of god is the spirit of god the holy spirit also you read your bible and this is the word of god where god speak to you so uh, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. That means that God can do more than you ask him. God can do more than you ask him. If you want to have a lot of things, but only God can do it for you. He can do more than that because God is so big. God is so big. God is bigger than all your problems. God is bigger than all your bills. God is bigger than your sickness. God is bigger than everything. God is bigger than your house. God is bigger than this whole world because this whole world he made. God is the almighty one. That's why he's God almighty. When you ask, he will give you more. He will if, uh, ask, uh, give you more. Even you didn't ask for it, he will bless you. He will give you a lot of things. He will restore your life. He will heal you. He will bless you in uh, ways that you never have expected. God will always give the good things to you. God will always give a good life to you. That's why you must honor God. You must go to God. You go back to God. Go back to God with, uh, for everything so that God can help you. So, um, let me look about all that we ask according to the power that works in us. So that power that work in you, don't fool around with this power because don't under, uh, underestimate this power. If you have the Holy Spirit in your life, you accept the Holy Spirit in your life, the Spirit of God, you have to activate this Holy Spirit. You have to talk to, with this Holy Spirit and also honor this Spirit. The Spirit lives in you. This Spirit, if you have accepted Jesus in your heart, you have asked the Holy Spirit to come in your life, in your heart. You, this, this Spirit is powerful. When you are down, you are very da down. You are feeling yourself very low. You feeling yourself so low that you 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 feeling yourself on the ground like you 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 are nothing. You can ask uh, the Holy Spirit to, to empower you. The Spirit gives you power inside. You can never feel weak. When you are feeling down or feeling weak, you ask the Holy Spirit that day, Holy Spirit, strengthen me, empower me, restore, uh, uh, stir up the power inside of me. And the Holy Spirit will stir up power in you. The Holy Spirit will shake you. The Holy Spirit will shake every weakness inside of you. The Holy Spirit will uh, give the strength, let the strength come inside of you. And you will feel yourself powerful you will know that this is the spirit of god that's why don't fool around and underestimate this spirit of god because a lot of people are uh, going to juju man or believing a lot of kind of things that people say around them but the spirit of god when you have a relationship with the spirit of god you believe in this power of god you can do mighty things he will do mighty things for you this spirit so it's better that you uh, um, uh, that you have a relationship with the holy spirit and uh that is the your first priority to have a relationship with God and with our God the Father the Holy Spirit also and uh, with Jesus uh, the, that one that is the one that changed your life so it's time to now uh Take the Spirit of God very serious. When you accept the Spirit of God in your life and it's living inside of you, it's time that every day when you are, when you are like when you have a relationship, you talk every every day to your uh, boy, boyfriend or girlfriend or your husband. It's like a relationship like that. Like you have a relationship, you talk every day with the Holy Spirit. Like uh, 
Father God or you say Holy Spirit uh, lead my day today or Holy Spirit I don't know what to do today I don't know what to cook today Holy Spirit I want to make something sweet and the Holy Spirit can give you uh, in your mind ideas what you can cook if you have uh, want to have um, a new plan for your life you ask the Holy Spirit you ask God God what is this plan that you have for my life what is this plan that you have you say in uh, in the word you say in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that you have a good thought about me you have a plan about uh, for my life then you ask the Holy Spirit what is this plan that you have for my life Holy Spirit what is it God that this plan that you have for my life what is it that you have for me so that the Holy Spirit can tell you what it is that he have for you what is this the plan and the Holy Spirit will reveal things to you that you know that it's only from God it's come it don't come from people and he will lead you because maybe you have a life that is bad it is not even successful but you want to make it in life you want to be successful in life you want to have a great job maybe or education or you want to have a, 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 a good happy uh, a marriage or whatever you want it is uh, the Holy Spirit that can help you and it is a plan of God to make you happy it's a plan of God to restore things for you in your life things that were broken things that are, uh, are going bad and you want to go uh, you want that it's going better it must go good in your life it's time that you ask the Holy Spirit. It's time that you ask God. God, restore my life. Restore the things that are bad in my life. I want things to go good in my life. And God will do it. And God has always better plans for you. New plans for you. So always go to God and ask Him when you pray, God, what is it? What is this plan that you have for me? Because God has mighty plans for some people that are watching now. God has mighty plans for you. God wants to favor you in life where you have never have been favored in life. God wants to do new things in your life. Things that you have never have uh, expected that only can come from God. God wants to uh, restore your life. Want to make it new, brand new. Uh, give you new opportunity. Give you new vision. Give you a new plan. Give you a new education. God will want to do new things for your life. My sister and my brother. If you are sick, God wants to heal you. God wants to help you. God, if you are weak, you are very weak. Or you are very low in your failure. God wants to restore your failure. God wants to give you a higher value when Jesus will come in your life your value will be higher your value will be higher and higher you will think not take low uh, think low anymore about yourself you will think higher about yourself because the mind that is in uh, uh, of Christ shall become in you if you ask God uh, to change your mind, to change your thinking, because maybe you think low of yourself, but you are not low, because everybody has a value from God, have a high value from God. God never gives people a low value. God never put people low. That is people surround you, or people in this world uh, put people low. Uh, the devil, the enemy of God, the devil, the loser, the liar, can put people very low, very low. You can be a, a, a drugs a, a de, a, a de, a, Addict. You can be a uh, uh, somebody uh, who is addicted to porno. You can be a, uh, addicted to sex. You can be addicted to. Uh, uh uh, to shopping, you can be addicted to a lot of things, uh, maybe to eating, or when the Holy Spirit come in your life and Jesus want to change your life, you can even ask God help with, with food, if you eat much food, or maybe you are somebody who are addicted to dr uh, alcohol or drugs, God can let you uh, be restored and uh, that God can heal you from the addiction, that you will not be addicted to alcohol or drugs or uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to food or, or things like that or thinking low about yourself thinking bad about yourself being depressive God heals every sickness even, even uh, uh, psych, uh, psych, uh, 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 psychiatric uh, problems uh, that you can have God can heal you God can heal your mind maybe people say you are crazy you are a crazy woman you are a crazy man but you know in yourself hey this is not true. This is a lie. It's better you go to God and let he change your life, change your mind, change the lies that people tell about you. Because you're not crazy. You're not crazy. For God, you're not, not crazy. You're a woman of value, of high value. You are a man of high value. So oh, uh, only accept the truth of God because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The, the devil is a liar. The devil is a big liar. So when you li uh, live a life, a life of full of lies, 
full of lies, things are uh, happening in your life, and it is not even, uh, you see that it is not even uh, good, it is not, it is like poison in your life, you can know that you are bound in lies, so it's better you go to God and accept Jesus in your life, so that the, the, the truth, the way, he's the way, the truth and the life, so that he can come in your life and show you the truth, truth, uh, so show you the truth, he show you the way and the life, you're going in the word now, uh, where we stand in the Bible, uh, we go to uh, John, the word of John uh, uh, 14, verse 16. We go where Jesus is the truth and the way of the and the uh, life. Let me look uh, in John. Where Jesus say, Jesus said unto him, I am the way. So Jesus is the way. So when you don't know which, which way to go, you know that you go wrong ways. You go to sin, sin, or you go to ways where there's lies or where people manipulate you or do whatever they want with you or let them pro you be uh, to be you or you will uh, want to be a pro uh, be a prostitute, want to use, abuse you, or bring you in bad, uh, bad relationship or uh, doing things with you what you don't want. It's back. Uh, it's time to turn back. To God. It's time to seek for Jesus, this big Jesus that is the way, the truth, and the life. You go to this script, we go to this scripture where Jesus said unto him, I am the way. So he is the way. The truth, he is the truth. So when you believe in lies, when you go in ways that are lies, or you see that your life is a mess, it is full of lies. You see, of people have so lies, uh, lies in your life, or you yourself have belief in lies. Your mind is full of your believing lies. It's time that you go to God and ask God to change your mind and deliver you from all these lies. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That means that you must go and stand in the truth. You must seek for the truth, and the truth is Jesus. So when you are, have a, la, a life or where you're going away with lies or you believe in lies, you believe in things that are not even true in your life or your life is going bad, you know that you are maybe bound around uh, in the atmosphere of lies. It's time to go to God. It's time to ask God uh, to let, uh, to clean your mind and ask God the, 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 the truth, the truth for your life, the truth. Where is the truth? And Jesus is the truth. So it's time to turn to Jesus. And uh, Jesus, uh, he's the truth and the life. So that means Jesus, the life changer, is the life. Jesus gives life in abundance. Jesus gives eternal life. Eternal life means a life of goodness, a life of uh, a victory, a life in Jesus, eternal life. Jesus is the life. So when Jesus, uh, uh, your, your parents have made you, uh, God has given you bread, bread to live. And uh, you give you life. God has given people life. So uh, when Jesus is the uh, the life, that means that when you go to Jesus and uh, ask Jesus uh, a, a new life, restore your life, He will show you life. What is uh, what it is to have a life, a good life, a eternal life. That means a life of victory because He died for people on the cross to have victory. Died for people on the cross that curses may be broke over your life, lies may be broken over your life. Um, uh, unhappiness will be happiness. Uh, bad luck will be luck. Uh, not be being blessed be mean blessed because he is the life and his life is a good life. So when you accept Jesus, the better things are happening. So it is not that no, uh, when you have accept Jesus, uh, nobody will have uh, never have trouble. When you are a Christian, you will never have a trouble. No, this is life. This is life. You can have sometimes a trouble or you have going through some storms. You're going to go to maybe some storms sometimes. But it's Jesus that gives you the victory. If you depend on Jesus, if you know that Jesus gives victory, if you know that Jesus gives life, if you know that Jesus gives strength, if you know that Jesus is the blesser, if the, you know that Jesus is the one that uh, uh, pull people out of trouble, pull people out of the storm, he is the, the, the storm changer, the life changer. You will know that you will get victory over. For every situation that you go in life, if you ask God to help the, every day, you ask the Holy Spirit to help you every day, you know that uh, He is the life, that your life will be changed, your life will be restored, your life, He is the eternal, you, by, with Jesus you have eternal life, means uh, a life of victory, a life of strength, you go from power to power, you go from victory to victory, you go from strength to strength, you go from... Uh, 
uh, having abundance to abundance. You're going to happiness, uh, uh, from happiness to happiness. Every time a new better day with God. When you have a day, a relationship with God, it can only get better. Because when you have a relationship with people around you, sometimes your day get, uh, can get poisoned, get, get bad because people uh, come to hurt each other or come to lie to each other sometimes or go and bring uh, bad things, uh, can do bad things to you so your life can be uh, that day be ruined but if you have a relationship with God you walk with God you take your walk with God you go walk with God you have a relationship with God you talk with God you can know that this relationship is a healthy relationship it's a good relationship it's a relationship that he will love you you will feel the love of God you will feel the the, the value that God value you so value you so you know that the first one that you must have in life is God as number one you must have a relationship first with God let God be your first friend let your heavenly father rule and reign in your life let your heavenly father be the one that is number one in your life not friends or your neighbors or people yeah that is nice that is nice but when they ruin your life or they put curses in your life or they do jealousy in your life you will know that you cannot depend on people you have to go to your best friend you have to go to your heavenly father you have to have first a relationship with God God Almighty and honor God love God for real because he first loved you before we love him because we people we didn't love God first we don't we don't love God first no we don't seek sometimes for God we only seek for the, doing things for the, in the world things things that we like we like but can we go to God in humbleness can we go to God with our uh, with our uh, with our sins can we return back to God and ask God forgiveness for our sins and ask God to change our lives that is the best we can do and ask God for relationship look for relationship with your heavenly father have a prayerful life have a life of prayer have a life that you read your Bible to look what is say what the Bible say about you what God says about you how God wants you to live your life that is the best you can do so uh, Jesus is the way the truth and the life so if you have Jesus you go the way with Jesus you uh, you you will Hear the truth through the Holy Spirit. You, he will lead you in the truth, not in lies. Maybe if, uh, people surround you can put you in lies or you, uh, you believe the things that they say, but it is a lie, a dirty, stinking lie. It's not time to, to go and listen all the time to people, voice of people, what people say, because people are not God. You know that people are not God because can, God, can, uh, uh, God can live in people. That, that, that is true, yes, then uh, God, let God be God in their life, but people are not God, you have to go to the Almighty One, you have to go and ask the Holy Spirit um, to live inside you and that He will take over your life, so that your life may restore and change, because Jesus is the Almighty One, Jesus is the life changer, so accept Jesus. Because Jesus is the Almighty One and He's the one that's doing signs and wonders in people's life. God, Jesus has done a lot of signs and wonders in my life. One day my, I go to a conference and I slept there at the conference and uh, my leg was uh, broken. Uh, my, my bone of my leg was broken and my, uh, on my knee I had a mark there that uh, need to be healed. I need to go in, uh, in the hips. I don't know how he said now in English. I need to go in the hips, and I was in a wheelchair and walking also later with the with the with the with the with the, with the sticks. And I was very afraid. And that time I was already a Christian and believing in Jesus. And I was very afraid to go to have surgery because they say, yeah, you must go to surgery uh, after three months. If it is not healed, you must go to surgery. And me, I know Jesus, that he is the one that do signs and wonders. I know that Jesus uh, heals cancer, he heals AIDS, he heals uh, every sickness that there, that there is. So I say, hmm, I don't want to go to the surgery. I say, Jesus is my doctor. I hear that Jesus, I hear that Jesus changes people's life. I know that Jesus, I hear that people, uh, Jesus uh, uh, healed cancer, healed AIDS, healed leukemia, healed all kind of bad sickness in the Bible and surround me. I've seen Christians, their life has been changed and, and uh, Jesus has healed them. So I was very afraid to uh, get surgery. The doctor said, yeah, after three months, if it is not healed and the bone is not uh, uh, still broke, uh, it's not uh, healed, you must go to surgery and things like that. I was very uh, afraid. I cried like a baby. 
I cry to God like a baby. And I know, and I believe, believing in God. I believing in Jesus that he is the healer. I believing in Jesus that he do signs and wonders. So I go to prayer and I pray to Jesus, please Jesus, heal me. Heal me, Jesus. I cry, I cry. I cry, I cry. And Jesus have answered my prayer. Jesus have restored and healed my, my foot, my leg on uh, where it was broken. I heal, healed healed my bones he healed there my knee uh, my knee that was broken and had, uh, had a mark inside he healed it and without surgery jesus did that signs of and wonder and i was thinking i could never run again i never could run again i think i was never going to run because my 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 leg when when they pull away the things of, of of my leg my leg was was stiff like this i couldn't move my leg but i was praying to jesus they say you must go to therapy to to move the leg and things like that but then i go and use some oil anointing oil like the bible say when you are sick you can use anointing oil i use anointing oil and rub the oil on it and begin to pray and say jesus restore also my leg how he cannot move now the things is out of my uh from my leg out and Jesus began to, uh, I was praying and I did begin to do exercise because I didn't want people to come uh, at my uh, leg. I didn't want the therapist to touch my leg. So I did it at home. I pray. I only had faith in prayer. I only had faith in Jesus, not in people, not in the doctor, but because the doctor, the doctor can heal. Yes, the doctor has medicine, but I believe what the Bible say. I believe Jesus above the doctor. I believe that Jesus is the doctor above doctors. So I believe that Jesus can do the surgery so and jesus did it because i was uh, i was believing it like a little child that believed everything i believe that's what the bible say that jesus is the healer i've seen people uh, life been changed about cancer aids all kind of sickness so i say jesus this leg is nothing for you you can heal this leg and jesus did it jesus did the signs and wonder i didn't have to have surgery jesus did it jesus did it and the, uh, the doctor had to close his mouth because the, the, the leg was healed the leg was healed and i believe in jesus and still today i give jesus the honor today i can run back again today i can do a lot of things back again the uh, the, the surgery has, has been done by jesus supernaturally through prayer and through believing so my leg my broken uh bones is healed now and the uh, the my uh my knee uh, that was uh was uh, get the mark inside also my meniscus is also healed so jesus is the restorer jesus is the restorer of my life when i was years ago when i was uh, yo younger and i had uh, was very angry inside and aggressive um, and I was depressive and uh, about things about my life, about my mother and my past, about my youth. It was Jesus that healed me from depression. It was not the the psych uh, the the psychologue, uh, the 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 sidekick that uh, heal uh, that uh, restore my life. I can go to him uh, or her to talk, but I know that Jesus. Uh, did signs and wonders so i was believing i told them also i believe in god i believe that in jesus so i know that jesus can uh heal because i didn't want to have that the the, the pill that uh, they call antidepressiva i didn't want to have the pill i want to have jesus i want to have the pill of jesus i want to have the healing of jesus i ah, yes i was going to the the sidekick there i was going there to have uh, uh have a counseling have talk with them but i know inside myself and in, in my mind that they cannot heal me they cannot heal me. It is Jesus that can heal me. So sometimes I say I believe in God that he will heal me. And they could say nothing about that. They honor that I was a believer. Yes, that. But the signs and wonders, they think like, hmm. But for me, it was Jesus. It was only Jesus that can heal my depression. And Jesus get me out of the depression. Jesus give me happiness. Jesus give, uh, restore my life. Jesus give me happiness. Happiness. Jesus give me a new mind, a new thinking. Thinking uh, not low about myself. Thinking higher about myself. And when I was uh, aggressive and a lot of mad inside from things that happened in my past, holding it, God is was the, was the one that 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 restore me inside. Jesus was the healer, man. Jesus was the one that was healing and restoring me. Jesus was the one that delivered me from uh, from wrong spirits that were not uh, from Him. Jesus was the one that restored me and gave me the Holy Spirit and show me the truth. When I believe it lies, when I believe it lies of uh, of people or the lies of my parents jesus break all the uh, the curses of lies jesus break the yoke
scope of of of, uh, of the of the lies and i was going in the truth i was going to to to, to receive the truth because i was was looking for this jesus that they say he's the truth he's the truth and the life and the way i was want to walk that way so i'm seeking that way i want to seek the truth i want to have the truth i didn't want to hear the lies anymore i didn't want to hear the the, the wrong things anymore so when i met jesus he was revealing me and showing me the truth and when i sh he showed me the truth i never go back to the lie so when somebody tells around me some people tell me, tell me a lie or tell me something uh, bad about me that is not true I, I i can reject it i can i kick it away because it's a stinking lie i only believe the truth that god say about me i only believe the truth the, the truth the way and the life i only believe jesus i only believe what he say about me i cannot uh, believe if, if if i hear something that people say about uh, about me and it is something that is true it is good i know that it's god that is speaking there but if it is a lie it will stamp in the ground i will stamp it in the ground and it will not even conquer because the truth that i believe in this jesus the way the truth and the life that i believe now in this jesus that i believe now in all those those, those lies all those lies from those years jesus has delivered me from it jesus has healed me from it jesus has break yokes about over my life Jesus have break curses over my life so that i i can never go back where i was i can never go back to the stinking lies that that, that people were telling about me or my parents get me bound in those words about them no 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 jesus break me loose jesus deliver me jesus healed me jesus did a mighty work in my life so I, I i can only believe in jesus and nothing but jesus and only jesus and only the truth the way and the life and that is jesus christ alone so it's better now that you believe the truth the way and the life seeker and that is jesus the one that restore life for truth the one that is true never will tell you a lie about yourself tell you the truth tell good things to you things that will be Build you up. Things that bring you higher and lower. That is Jesus. That is the Jesus where I talk about now. That is the Jesus where I gossip about now. Jesus is the mighty one. Jesus is the one that does restore life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the one that will tell you the truth and not lies. People can tell you surround you a lie because sometimes the devil is using him because the devil is a big dirty liar. And when people are telling you lies, you know that the devil is speaking there. So you have to kick this away. You have to rebuke this lies. And you can only overcome these lies to the truth that you're going to listen to and that is Jesus that is God Almighty that is the Holy Spirit the spirit of truth because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth it's not the spirit of lie the devil is a stinking liar and the devil is a loser so when you see the devil is the devil is the the enemy of God so when you see in this world a lot of trouble and a lot of sickness it's the devil is doing it because God never give people sickness God never make people poor it's the devil is doing it God never break people down god never break people's heart it is the devil is doing it so never believe that that god is the one that is doing good for people's life so that's why you need to accept god in your life and that's number one never believe the lies because if you believe in lies today my brother and my sister it's time that you but receive the truth, receive the truth of God, receive the truth, the way and the life of Jesus Christ, receive eternal life, and you accept Jesus in your life, you have the, the eternal life, you are again going, going to get victory upon victory, if you believe in Jesus, you pray in faith, you believe in Jesus, you have a relationship with Jesus, you have a relationship with God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, the three in one, you have, uh, you, you honor them in your life, and not the things that people say surround you, surround you, there, 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 everywhere. People can say things, but believe God. Let God become in your life. Let God be the mighty one in your life. Let God be the one that is uh, the one that get honor in your life. Let God be the one that is number one in your life, my brother and my sister. I hope that you will be uh, have been blessed today by this word, world, uh, uh, by, by this word of God. I hope that. Uh, uh, God may restore your life and bless you and help you in your life and that you have, will have a relationship with God the Father and you have a, a, have a life changing because of Jesus that you have accepted in your life, you have opened your heart, you have opened your life to accept Jesus so that he can change your life because Jesus is no joke, the devil is a joker. In this world people are jokers because Jesus is never a joker. Jesus is for real. Jesus, that's why they say Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Seek Jesus today go to uh, go uh, the way with Jesus go and seek the life uh, that Jesus have for you let Jesus prepare your way for
for you. Let's go the way with Jesus. Go all the way with Jesus because Jesus has the, uh, the best life for you. So we uh, we're going to close now today with this part three because um, uh, we're going to start uh, back again when I come back with part four. Jesus is the life changer we got because we can never stop talking about Jesus the life changer because Jesus is the one that changed people life and Jesus only changed people life that accept him and open their heart uh, for Jesus that Jesus can restore their life and that Jesus uh, may restore their life Jesus never forced you so if you want to have a bad life a dirty life a stinking life then it's not from Jesus it you honor the devil if you want to have a blessed life a good life you honor Jesus open your life open your heart for Jesus Jesus, so that he can do his will in your life ask Jesus when you pray that he will uh, he will do the things in your life that you cannot do that he will uh, restore your life and uh, change your life so uh, my brother and my sister uh, when you have accept Jesus as your uh, personal uh, redeemer and savior he will uh, do it for you so we close today now with this topic I hope you will be blessed and uh, we're gonna pray now. Uh, the last, uh, the last uh, pray. We're gonna pray now, and then we close. So we all go uh, now, bow our heads now, and uh, pray. Father God, I thank you for today. I thank you for this message, Father God. I thank you for the people that have listened. I bring your children for your throne that are listening, Father God. Father God, restore their lives. Jesus, you are the life changer. Change their life. Change their destiny. You have a better plan for their life. You have a better future for their life. You have um, the way that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Every lie that they have to, uh, have uh, have uh, I have belief in. I pray today that the, the, every lie has been broken today over their, their lives. When they have listened to this message, li uh, life must gonna be restored in this future. Life has to be changed in this future. Um, uh, uh, lies have to be broken off their lives now at this moment and the truth has to come in their life because Jesus, they have accept Jesus so they're, uh, they're going to walk in the truth so you will show, show them the truth, the way and the life I thank you for today I thank you Father God that you have touched the hearts touched lives and going to go the way with them and uh, lead them in a good life you have a better plan to the, for them I thank you Father God for the people Father God that you will restore your children's life for my brother and my sister that are listening that you will change their life in Jesus name amen